In this training lesson, we're going to look at why premises sometimes have to be false and how to label a statement as premise when false. For all argument steps, the strength of the step depends on the truth of its premises. In this example, the premises are both certainly true, so they're a deep blue colour, which makes the argument step strong and the purple bar represents the argument strength and it's long in this case. But if you change the truth value of a premise, the argument step can get weaker and this will have an effect on all the reasoning in the argument graph that follows. Here the second premise has been changed to likely false, so it's a pale red colour and the argument step is much weaker the purple bar is much shorter. However, some argument steps expect a premise that is false. In this case, given the either-or premise, it is because Jim is not a radical and this premise is false that he must be a conservative. But by making this premise false, the argument has lost its strength and the purple bar has gone. So how can we fix this? The answer is by changing this premise from premise when true to premise when false. We have to do this in the edit mode of Endoxa. So I'm now in the edit mode. You can see the edit buttons here at the top of the screen. Uh, you can get into edit mode by clicking edit graph at the end of any lesson. And I'm going to change this premise from a premise when true to a premise when false. So I click on the premise and the right hand side we see the information about this uh, statement. The premise when false button is here. Premise when true is the default when any statement is created. So I'm going to click on here. Just click on the white field. Uh, and now you see the strength of the argument step is full because this is a premise when false. So now I've gone back to the normal lesson mode and the problem is fixed. Jim is a radical is now premise when false and the argument strength is at full strength. So, when you add a statement to an argument graph, it's premise when true by default, and most statements stay that way, but you can alter them when you need to, depending on the argument steps in the graph. This is the end of the lesson. Thanks for listening.